wonderful people let's talk about html table sizes okay in the previous video i talked to you about html tables html table borders and in this video we are going to take our time and you know have a chat on html table sizes so html tables can have different sizes for each column each row or even for the entire table so still we are going to use css properties uh, in order to play around the size of html table or html table elements okay so the size here we are simply going to play around the width the height of the various elements of an html table so we will use the css width and height properties to specify the size of a table of the rows and of the column uh, in this video and i'm going to show you how to do that so, so to set the width of a table uh, you can actually use the width uh css property so in here so what we're going to do is that in our style here we will say table width and 100 percent semicolon So if you do that, now you will see how the table is going to display. So that's it for the width. Um, in order to actually have a better display or better visibility, we will add some border. So we say table. Border. So let me come here. Border two pixels solid black, and then border collapse collapse. So we we'll add comma table head and table data like this yeah so now you can see how this is shown so here the width is going to make sure that the table is going to occupy the whole the whole width of the web page so using a percentage here, uh, what you need to note is that we could use the percentage, but we could also use the pixels in order to specify the width. But using the percentage as the size unit for the width means how wide will this particular element be compared to its parent element, which in this case is the body element. Okay so since the body element um so what we are simply saying here is that this particular table element must occupy 100 percent of the um, of the body 100 percent width of the body so that's exactly what is happening here okay so another thing that we can do is that we can set the size of a specific column okay by adding some style to the column okay so let's say that we want to apply some um, width to the first header here so what we're going to do as for this example we are going to use the style attribute and in this particular style attribute, we are going to say width column 70%, for example. 
and then you will see what will happen. So now you see that the width of this particular header has increased. So if we said 50%, let me say it like this, 50%, for example, this is how it's going to show. Okay. So that's how you can change the width of the header or the of a, of a column. Uh, you can also, you know, work with um, the height of your row. For example, so to set the height of a specific row, we are going to use the height CSS um, property for that. So let me just remove this. I'll cut it. And I'll come here and say, instead of width here, I will say height. So now you will see that the height here, I will say pixels. Maybe 100 pixels like this. So now you can see that the height of this particular row has been increased. So because of what I have added here in the style. Okay, so that's basically how you can, you know, work with the sizes of your HTML table. You can use this particular width um, CSS property and apply it to the table, you know, to determine or specify the size. You can specify the size of your column, the size of your row by doing what I've just showed you here. Okay, the height is for the row if you want to increase the size of the of your row, for example, and uh, the width is for the for increasing or you know specifying the size of your column. All right, guys, I think we're going to stop here. If you have any question on how to actually work with your table sizes, feel free to write in the comment section your questions and um, don't forget to like to subscribe and let's meet in the next video